I mean, there's no no point of uh, you know saying you agree or not. But at the end of the day, uh, we've got to stay out of the penalty box no matter. Um, you know, given that team six, uh, I'm not sure how many they had tonight. One, maybe two. Like, yeah, they had one. Um, you know, PK did a good job. But at the same time, it just takes our whole bench and rhythm out of it. I think um, you know, guys don't play as much as they need to, and um, stoppages and whistles and TV timeouts, and then guys kind of get a little bit cold. So I think, as far as the rhythm goes, um, you know, PK did a good job, killed their penalties tonight. But at the same time, um, it takes guys out of it. They had like five minutes, eighteen seconds more of power play time than, than you guys. Are you just when that happens, and a lot of them happened earlier, are you just kind of fighting uphill the whole game? Yeah, and then you get sit, you know, you're playing lots in your own end, and then it's hard to uh, grab the momentum and, and turn it the other way. And, and uh, I don't think we did a, a very good job of, you know, maybe shifting the tides tonight or, or uh, changing the momentum um, maybe till later in the game. And, and uh, you know, they're a good team over there. They're, they play fast. We knew that. You know, I don't think we, we, we had our skating legs tonight. I don't think we moved our feet enough, and, and it resulted us to play probably uh, way too much in our own end. Uh, Brandon, you say that. Is that did it just seem like you guys were chasing the puck more than – I think it just all starts with with moving our feet, skating. Um, you know, it's not from a, a lack of effort or, or or working hard. I think it's more so um, when you just kind of get you know stagnant a little bit. You know, you kind of get a flat-footed, and like I said, it, it, it f- causes you to play way too much uh, time in our own end. And they're a good team, and they're they got mobile defense, and and uh, they're able to you know, score some goals on us tonight. I know you're not thinking about it, but what would you miss without O'Reilly out there? I mean, he does he does everything for us. Obviously, he's the uh, the motor for us, and and uh, you know that's kind of our first game without him. So uh, he got a little sample size of that, and he's just good, you know, as far as faceoffs and PK and um, power play and, and guys that you know really sets the tone for our team. Um, you know, uh, things happen. COVID's throughout the league right now. Obviously, uh, I guess. Hopefully he doesn't get it again, but you know, we lose him for, for four games here, and, and then uh, you know he'll be back ready and and, uh, and healthy. But um, you know we can't really worry about that for the next three. Uh, we know he's a he's a huge piece to our team, and, and guys like myself and other guys have to step up. It didn't seem like the faceoffs were too skewed, but was it in key moments where maybe you didn't win a draw that you would have liked to have won tonight? I mean I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't know. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, he, he's a good face-off man for us, but I don't know what the percentage was tonight. I don't even know. Um, yeah, I don't really know how to answer that because I'm not sure if any big face-offs ended up in the back of our net or not. seems like every time we talk to you after Colorado game, we're asking about Cadre. My question is, were you surprised that Falk went at it with, with uh, Cadre so early, or did you have a sense that that might be coming? Um, no idea that was coming. I, I passed the puck to the Falker, and he just kept on skating at me, and I wasn't sure what the heck he was doing, and all of a sudden he was fighting him. So, um, you know, Falker's a big boy. He's tough. He can fight uh, his own battles, and obviously he wasn't happy with the hit and, and uh, you know, had to settle it himself. So, um, you know, good for him. Um, you know, that's two fights against Kadri now, and obviously it's a it's a hit, obviously, that Nas probably uh, didn't want to make, and, and at the end of the day, um, you know, Falker uh, settled his own his own score and, and uh, stepped up for himself. You feel some life after you score then, and I guess kind of a back pressure when they get it right back. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a little momentum there. Um, you know, they made a good play, uh, McKinnon to McCarr, and obviously McCarr is, you know, lethal with his wrist shot, and he was able to find a hole on Bitter, and, and uh, you know, would have liked to grab a little bit of momentum after that goal, but I mean, we still we still fought to the end. Yeah, yeah you, you obviously you're, you weren't going to go undefeated this season, but what so what do you take out of this game? Is there a couple things that you say? Well, we we really need to shore this up, or um, you know, got to. Uh, Got to have your skating legs every night. There's there's a lot of fast teams. Teams play different styles. We're going to get guys, uh, teams in the East that play a little bit more run and gun compared to maybe a team like LA that we played or Colorado plays fast. So, um, you know, we got to be ready for every team and every night. And and there's going to be a new challenge. And you just can't be happy. You know that you're five and zero. We got to worry about uh, you know this loss now and and get ready for Chicago. With all the line changes, it seemed like the chief was changing things up quite a bit. Were you guys able to adjust on the fly accordingly? Yeah, that's that's all part of it. You know, when you when you kind of have a rhythm going with the lines and stuff like that, um, you know, and obviously a huge piece being out, he's trying to find chemistry and and you know, whether matchups or or whatever it may be, and um, you know, we're able to find a little bit of balance there later on in the game. And um, you know, at the same time, I'm sure he's worrying about the matchup against McKinnon, and as well as you know, you know, trying to produce offense. And and uh, you know, that's something we're going to have to get used to for the next three games here, and and uh, you know, we'll find chemistry then.